What's up, Odoers? It's good to see you again. Today, we're talking about work order dependencies. As you've already learned, work orders are smaller operations within manufacturing orders, or MOs. It's very common for an MO to have more than one work order, and oftentimes, it's critical that certain work orders be completed before others. That's where work order dependencies come in. Let's use our table product as an example. Manufacturing the table requires two work orders, cut the table legs, and attach legs to the table. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that we should cut the table legs first, then attach them to the table. If we didn't, we'd end up with a table that was way too tall. One might even say cartoonishly tall. Let's jump into Odoo now so I can show you how to make sure all of your tables are the right height with the help of work order dependencies. In order to use work order dependencies, we need to make sure a couple things are enabled first. I'll start by navigating to the manufacturing application, clicking on configuration, and then down to settings. Here, I need to make sure that I have ticked the checkboxes for work orders and work order dependencies. The later setting only appears once the former one is checked. With these settings enabled, I can add work orders to MOs and make specific work orders dependent upon the completion of others. Pretty cool, right? I've already enabled both settings, but once you've done so in your database, make sure to click Save up at top just to make sure that the changes are applied. Now let's take a look at the Bill of Materials or BOM for our table product. To do that, I'll navigate to Products and then select Bill of Materials and then select our Table BOM. If I click on the Operations tab, I can see that the manufacturing process requires two operations, cut table legs and attach legs to tabletop. As I previously mentioned, we want to make sure that we cut the table legs before we attach them to the tabletop. To do so, I'm going to start by clicking on our Miscellaneous tab. And then I want to go ahead and tick the checkbox next to Operation Dependencies. And then I'll go ahead and click the Save button to put the changes into effect. Now, if we return back to the Operations tab and click on the Attach Legs to Tabletop Operation, this pop-up appears, and we also have a Blocked By field that appears in the pop-up window. I'll click into that field and select the Cut Table Legs option from the drop-down menu, and now the Attach Legs to Tabletop operation is blocked by the Cut Table Legs operation, meaning we must complete that operation first. Finally, I'll go ahead and click Save. And by default, the Blocked By settings are not displayed on the Operations tab, but if we do want to see them, all I have to do is click the Extra Options button here on the right, make sure that's teched, and then here we have it. Doing so causes the block by column to appear on the tab where I can see the attach legs to tabletop operation is blocked by the cut table legs operation. All right, our bomb is configured the way we want it. Now let's see it in action. First, I'll click on operations and then manufacturing orders, and then I'll click new in the upper hand corner. Then I'll add our table to the product field and then just click confirm. Next, I'll click on the work orders tab to see that both of our work orders in the status column. And as we can see, the cut table legs appears as ready, and the other operation, attach legs to tabletop, appears as waiting for another operation, because Odoo knows that we need to cut the table legs first. Now I'll click the plan button up at the top. And to see this carried out, we can click on the planning button here at the top and click on planning by production, and then we'll be able to see the overall calendar. So let's zoom into the planning calendar day by clicking on the calendar button here and selecting today. Now we can see the cut table legs work order has been scheduled first and the attach legs to tabletop work order is scheduled after. This is also indicated by the arrow leading from the first work order to the second. If I drag attach legs to tabletop work order first, it'll appear as red. To fix this, I can simply drag and drop the work order so it's scheduled after. And now we're ready to manufacture the table by completing these work orders. And that's all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for sticking around, and like always, I'll see you next time.